Nine Pines! Yes. Meanwhile, at Nine Pines, uh, the closer you get towards the center, actually, so around the edge of the park, the snow is probably at its absolute worst. You couldn't see two feet in front of you. If you Heroic. weigh, if you didn't weigh enough, if you didn't weigh a Mack truck, you probably would have been pushed around a little bit. Mm -hmm. But the closer you get towards the center, um, one, it's getting warmer. Two, it smells like cookies. And three, you hear Christmas carols. I would play some, but we don't have any in the uh, SoundCloud. Um, All right, everyone. I'll admit it's getting strange here. I'm going to follow the sound of the Christmas carols, I, I think they are. You guys should probably get here, because there's some fucked up shit going on. Uh, the three of you hear about every third word of that. Carols. All right, that's definitely not good. Wait, hold on. Wait, Carol is I, there? <laughs> and I create okay, a, a I plasma bubble plus, around us to kind of shield this from the snow as it's getting harder. I'll, I'll head to where the carols are. All right. Um, you find yourself at what looks like a really elaborate Santa's village uh, via a really fancy mall. Middle of the park. Uh, it's quite pretty. There are a lot of kids. All of them kind of look dead and glassy eyed and they're in a very nice and organized line heading towards a gingerbread house in the center. All right, we've got evil Santa situation. <laughs> no, it's Krampus. <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've. Oh yeah, I don't hear you either. I guess we've yeah. got Code Kringle. <laughs> Code Kringle. I like no. to imagine that's something that just happens up here in city. Uh, Code I'm, Kringle. I'm, I'm gonna power right towards the middle of it because this is obviously evil. I don't feel like I need to, like, parse this too hard because it's clearly a bunch of hypnotized children going to the center of a, 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 a Christmas town. All right, um, so you get to the uh, gingerbread house in the center. Uh, there's a really, or there's an elf, air quotes, standing outside. It's this hunched over, long tooth crone looking thing in a mall elf costume. So Steven, when he wakes up. Mm. Release the children, elf! You need to get back in line, sir. I don't need to get back in line. You need to get back in line. And then I, uh, that was a, not a great line. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> that sucked. Um, but I didn't have a lot of time to think about it. So I'm going to try and use Unstoppable and just smash through that elf and into the gingerbread house. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're using a book move. Awesome. Yes, sir. Yeah. Do you have to roll for that or is it just? Yes, it is. It's plus danger. All right. Um, danger, I smash danger. my way through scenery to I get to or away from something and I roll plus danger. On a 10 plus, the world breaks before me. So let's find out what happens. That's a nine plus. Shit, yeah, 10, 11. So the world breaks before me. Dramatic, right? Um, so you, so I imagine it works like this. You grab the elf by the face. You just kind of power through the front of the thing. And you find out it was actually made out of gingerbread. Surprising. Yeah. Hmm. Um, <laughs> festive. Yeah, uh, out. You get inside and uh, it kind of looks like an old hunting lodge on the inside. The children, uh, which you think, thankfully, did not run over, yeah, um, are still in line. And at th at uh, the other end of the hall is a goat. Cr uh, how do I describe it? There's no other way to describe it other than Santa mixed with Satan and a goat. Stop attacking these children! You're perverting the spirit of Christmas! And then I'm going to charge at the goat. Um, he looks up at you as you're charging. I am the spirit of Christmas. I love your Krampus voice. I love I it so, so much. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm terrible at voices. No, no, it's good. This is good. I'm so bad at it. Um, Take the goddamn compliment. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm bad at getting compliments. Um, okay, so what do you do? As he ru He's not moving, he's not scared. All right, well I'm gonna say, ho, ho, hold on to your seats, everyone! And I run up and I just like, punch at him. That was just the of no one. Yeah, but I... <laughs> All the kids see, are in a trance. The elf <laughs> looks like it's passed out. Stating yeah. like, like, trying to make pun lines is like something that Swole thinks of as like part of the duties of a superhero. <laughs> You're not wrong. We all, have, <laughs> we all have jobs and apparently yours is uh, that. Yeah, exactly. Saying, nobody heard it. <laughs> <coughs> Krampus heard it. <laughs> okay, Krampus. And, and that the hear viewers it did at not home heard it. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, Clockwork Penguin, thank you very much. Uh, I get another reroll, so I'm at four. 
Wow. Woo! So I think I have four. Me asking for re rolls uh, is just not working. Well, Wait. don't whine because you got one too. <laughs> Yay! Nice. And you get one as well. Yay. Uh, these are all from Clockwork Penguin. Thank, Thank you, Clockwork Penguin. Penguin. Thanks, Clockwork Penguin. You're my I favorite. I love your screen penguin. name, by the way. <laughs> Or as they call it in French, le penguin mécanique. Mm. <laughs> they do call them that. Yeah. Everything sounds better in French. Um, okay. So, yeah, I, I launch my mass at uh, uh, Krampus. Uh, okay. Well. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> <laughs> as you dive at him, he produces what looks... It looks like a broom, but a really, really ineffectual broom. You've never seen something like Jordan's this Jordan's got a re-roll. Yeah, re but I'm not using it because I feel like me throwing the first punch, like, grandiosely and failing is like a good comic book, mm -hmm. like, start yes. for a fight, you know? Yes. Um, as you're coming over, he just <laughs> right. kind of swipes it at you, and now you're standing in what feels like, well... Ooh, please say it's figgy pudding. Well, you feel like you're drowning in figgy pudding and you're in a giant metal cage. That's how I spend. Christmas. Naughty child. How thick are the bar? Like how close together are the bars? How thick is the pudding? More importantly. Yes. Um, it's. You know when you make Jello at home, but not like J E L O pudding, but like actual pudding. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. It's that consistency. It's. Mm. All right. It's thick. It's not. It's not terrible to get through, but it's still gross. How much of it could I eat? <laughs> you could eat a good bit. <laughs> and the bars are really close together. This thing looks like it was specially made to hold swoles. Okay. It's a swole. So, so e e even Eat if I were to like it. crush myself and ha-ha, <laughs> um, even if I were to like crush myself and try and slide through the bars, it would you be would too not. close. Yeah. I imagine I can't crush my brain to get through things, so that's probably No, like a, no, it's already You crushed. cannot do that. It's yeah. crushed enough. Ah. Mm. Yeah. A-O. Sassy. Ah! Mm. <laughs> the All brain right. is a muscle, <laughs> except in the literal sense. <laughs> <laughs> except in the sense I needed to be. <laughs> All right, so you are now in a pudding, figgy pudding cage. All right, um, I'm gonna start lapping up the figgy pudding. <laughs> it tastes pretty awful, actually. Oh, never had fi have these figgy figs pudding? have gone bad! <laughs> I've never had figgy pudding, but I just can't imagine it tastes that good. They did not have yeah. a good mix of rum in there. Mm -hmm. No, it's like too yeah. much. And English it's desserts too much are molasses, not great. Too. Correct. They're not great. Wait, so like you can make figgy pudding. Like, it's an actual thing. Yeah. yeah. Huh. It's an English thing. Yeah, it's terrible. You set it on fire. You're supposed to give it to carolers. Mm -hmm. And, and they, they demand, demand it. it. Yes. You give us some figgy pudding. Um, as yes. a resident yes. Jew, I have to say, wow, this song actually makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go until we get some. We won't <laughs> go until we get some. They're, they're, they're fucking blackmailing you for your figgy pudding. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> you shouldn't have opened the door. Okay. No. That's the real lesson. <laughs> Don't fuck, open your door for strangers carolers. singing. All right. Okay. Um, oh, oh, you're a bad child. You got a lot of wicked thoughts in you. Ooh, he's Irish. Huh, maybe you should check that list twice, because I think we've got a surprise for you. Um, and then I, I want to try and expand my body out as much as I can, and like push open the. The, uh, okay, uh, you can roll me freak. It, it, I, I, I'm using you are a negative eating one, figgy though. pudding to do it too. Okay, that's fine. Right. Freak, 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 freak! Ah. Uh, it's a 10, 11, that's 12. Nine. Well, it's 11, so oh, it still right. works. So, yeah. 11. <laughs> using the figgy pudding to help expand my mass. I'm like, how oh. does that work? The most erotic well, okay. thing I've heard anybody so, say. So I can, um, I, I can, I can break my bones and kind of right, shape right. A bit. You can transform. So I, I, in a, in a sort of snake-like sense, like my jaw breaks apart and my mouth opens and, and I use the figgy pudding just to like. Oh. Every day I gave it to you as another punishment from God. <laughs> What did Accurate. you do to deserve this? Yeah, and it was like, what did I do? Where did I go so wrong? Oh. And then expand out. I hope you throw up the figgy pudding after because probably it's not good for you. <laughs> Kevin, just, Kevin just holds Swole's hair back. <laughs> my my, my there, jaw, there. my jaw while it's healing is also like hanging loose. Like oh, 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 cool. there, there. As you break his, as you break uh, his cage, um, he slams his broom on the ground. And suddenly, the floorboards beneath you begin to literally pull away, revealing, uh, oh, that's a tunnel to hell. 
Oh! What? I assume you grab the ledge before you fall That's in. That's what I'm trying to do, yeah. All right, you managed to hold on to it. Um, meanwhile, the three of you... I thought this was a guy inspired by Krampus, not actually Krampus. Well, we don't know yet, do we? Well, I mean, I asked him this earlier. <laughs> he's he's good at being inspired by know, Krampus. <laughs> he's method about it. Mm. He's method. He, All right, he don't is he to be Krampus the Krampus? Got it down. Probably not. Was he a Christmas obsessed guy who discovered a pit to hell? Maybe. Oh, <laughs> and so it's been in nine pines this whole time. Ah, okay, anyway, sorry, the three of us. So the three of you. Under uh, our plasma dome. In your plasma bubble, uh, make it through the snow and you get to the edge of nine pines. Uh, it looks like the last of the children coming from uh, the lower end of, quest, of the Questware district are arriving as oh, well. Oh, so the evil children. <laughs> Are they evil? No. Okay. Yes. They're objectively not evil. They're children. So. Thank you, Jack. So we Welcome. we hear the Christmas carols. You hear the Christmas thing. carols, and even through your uh, plasma dome, you smell uh, cookies. What the? It's Ooh. quite lovely. What the hell is going on here? Mm. And soon you guys find yourselves in what looks like once a very lovely winter wonderland, but now there's a destroyed uh, gingerbread house mm -hmm. and sticking out of a hole, a swole hole, if you will. I'm going to use that so often so you Oh, can. yeah. Okay, okay. This is my uh, No, I, I'm, I'm glad that it's spread. It's, it's developed. It's a virus. It's a yes. meme. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, with a goat Christmas Santa hybrid motherfucker standing above him. Well, we found swole. And I just go, oh, what? <laughs> my, my jaw is also hanging loose like oh. an abomination from um, from Warcraft. Ah. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I'm going to, well, I was going to, I don't know the situation that well, but I was going to walk up to Swole and just, like, try to put his jaw back. <laughs> For comedic purposes, you can do that. All right, cool. Walk up to Swole. <laughs> ah, thank you, Chaos, a lot. <laughs> so so what's Teamwork. This, so what's exactly the scene that's happening right now? Okay, uh, destroyed ha front half of a ha of. Okay. On the out outside, it looks like a gingerbread house. On the inside, mm. it looks like a hunt hunting lodge. Uh, long line of children snaked around it, all waiting okay, to see so Krampus claws. Okay, so it's also like a Hansel and Gretel sort of situation. A little bit. Okay. And a portal to hell underneath a swole. Okay, are you still in the cage, or are you not in the He's cage? He's not in the cage. Out of the cage. cage. Okay. There's a destroyed cage behind him. Uh, there's a past elf, past, past elf, passed out elf uh, in the rubble of the gingerbread house. Okay. And uh, evil-looking Krampus motherfucker. Okay. Um, Swole, so, what's happening? Like, what do you need? What's happening? He's in the portal of hell. What do you think he needs? <laughs> Read the room! <laughs> <laughs> uh, take a plus one on your next roll for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Rude. Um, I guess we should start attacking. Uh, yeah. Uh, I you just... know, I was going to help you, and now I'm not. Kid started this, just uh, raises her hand. She says, Hey, Krampus! Guten Morgen, mein Herr. <laughs> and, um, and I yell, you're speaking in tongues! <laughs> uh, and I'm going to directly engage this threat, which will hopefully clear my angry condition. Because that's how that works. Um, to clear the angry condition, you had to be a little more reckless, but I'll, I'll let you do it. Okay. So this is negative two, because I'm clearing the angry condition. Oh, okay. But it's... Plus, sorry. Danger, so that is a... Seven? That would be an eight, minus two, which is a six, so never mind. You can re-roll it. This is a cool enough move that yeah. I feel like it'd be worth re-rolling. I'm going to re-roll it. Well... So that's a seven. Can we use a team? Uh, if you guys can justify it, you may use a team. Well, Wait, that's that's a... That's a seven. That's card. enough. Uh, yeah, that's is enough. it total a seven success? Yes. Yeah. Oh, cool. Great. No need. Uh, and I'm going to create an op opportunity for my allies with this. All right. So just kind of get them in the gut, basically, just <laughs> with my bolt. Mm. Nice. So that should give Swole an opportunity to get away. It does. Um, you basically fire a bolt right into his gut, mm -hmm. and he uses his broom and just whacks it away. But he's very focused on you and not on uh, Swole being dragged to hell. So can I can I try and launch myself out of it and like? Did he just deflect my cosmic energy bolt with a broom? Yes. Yes, 
I am still trying to cope with what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm, going on. I'm hanging on to the edge of a pit to hell, right? Yes. So I'm going to try and like pull myself out and like launch myself over it and land on the other side of Krampus. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. What should I roll for that? Just... Uh, let's make that a danger roll. Okay. Because it doesn't really sound like it doesn't really sound like one of your generic moves, but I feel like a roll is necessary for this one. Sure. Because there's a chance of failure. That's a six. That's six, seven, eight for danger. Okay. Yeah. High voltage. Danger, danger. High, High voltage. voltage. Oh. High voltage. Uh. <laughs> That's, a that That's a new one. Yeah. That's a new one. Brand new. Impressed. All right, uh, what are you two doing? Fire in the disco. <laughs> um. Fire in the Taco Bell. <laughs> uh, Fire what, in the Taco Bell. What am I doing? Mm, okay, I I'm going to go mm -hmm. ahead and pierce the mask. Oh, okay. Ooh, hey, that's clever. I want to know why this is happening. You want to know why they keep starting fires? Yeah. Or how they keep starting fires? We didn't start the fire. It's their desire. It was always burning. The world Six. Up and turning. Plus your mundane, which I think you have a lot of. No, I, no. I have zero. No. I purposely put that down. What were you trying I to know do? That he doesn't want to be mundane. P pierce the mask. Uh, I'm gonna throw in a team, so it's seven. How? Because um, you're trying to figure out like what? Yeah. What do you say? What are you planning? What are you really planning? Um, you know, it's uh, it's you know, it's like. Uh, I don't know, it's like putting the, because I feel like it's a scary situation, so I just like have a very comforting, supportive hand just like on his back, just like you can do it, like, you know, just like Gen everything's going to be okay. Gently stroking? Um, no. You're gonna, no. I'm, one, I'm sorry, you're going to have to do a little bit better than that, because Motherfucker. you're Fine. trying to get information out of a Krampus-themed supervillain who has a magic broom, apparently. Yeah. Ooh, start playing some sleigh bells. <laughs> oh, that way my message can really he's, get across. He's also got the big long Are you tongue, listening, right? Krampus? Oh, sleigh yeah. bells swing. It's, it's grotesque. Yeah, he's got a big long tongue. Yeah, yeah, never mind too. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. Sleigh bells. Sleigh bells. Um, you could uh, maybe sleigh bells. Sleigh. with ah! your bowl that actually amplifies sound. Oh, yeah. Give that to me. Because I still have my bowl. That way I can like, leave my bowl. Really you know what? I never said what happened to your bowl. So yes. yeah, you still have your stupid fucking bowl. Yes, so I use a team to amplify. Love it. Cool. Boom. Done. My fuck ups are now going to be so seven. So what are you trying to do? What are you planning? <laughs> we should I say it exactly like that. We, we should state these pierce the mask things a little less literally. You really <laughs> should. You guys really should. Like, come on. How can no, I get your character to... Like, What's the best way to attack to attack you right now? Um, what the fuck is going on here? So, as he's fight, I assume you kind of go <laughs> for some hand to hand. Yeah. Up. He's dodging your things, and I assume you're fighting as well. Mm -hmm. He's dodging both of you very easily as you ask that. Hopefully, flanking because I try to get the other side. Yeah, you're flanking, but we don't do flanking. I know it doesn't matter, but I'm just saying for like for for people's image of the whole fight. Yeah. You're definitely flanking him, and he's surprisingly good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Go figure. Great. Did that answer my question? No. Um, <laughs> go fuck yourself. Here? What uh, the elf, bro? the elf hag from the rubble behind you. He is Krampus. He is here to judge the wicked. So um, I say to myself, then why did I need this bowl to get to when I could have just asked you? <laughs> <laughs> Plot happens. Because it was there. Uh, that doesn't answer my question, though. What were your questions, real quick? Uh, I want to know, like, why... Well, okay, specifically, I'd like to know why, why he has all the kids here. Like, what are you really planning? What are you really planning? In detail, please. <laughs> Pull out a notebook. In character voice. It's been so long since he's judged the Nazi. He's building an army of them now. Going to take them and the powers of hell and take over Hyperion City. But an army of naughty or of good? Naughty children. Oh, so that means all the children are naughty. Eh, he's just kind of going through all of them. He doesn't have a list. He didn't check it twice. No. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So he's going to take all these kids to hell. How is he going to do that? I assume you ask the hag. He's go he will open a portal for the worthy and drag them down with him. Wait, worthy, naughty. Yeah. You need to figure out what where your priorities are, man. 
He wants bad kids. What do you want? He hired a bunch of ravens who called themselves the bad kids. What do you want? <laughs> all right. Well, great. So he's going to kidnap all of the town's children in case anybody didn't glean that from all the town's children being uh -huh. brought here against their will. All right. So with that bit of information, <laughs> um, the Krampus... Uh, takes his broom and uh, hits you in the face with it. Okay. Uh, Take a powerful blow? No. Uh, yes. You now have a snowman's head on top of your normal head. Seeing and breathing is both very hard right now. If I had a nickel for every time that happened. Right. <laughs> so uh, just, snowman so I, I'm wrapping my head around this. My head has become a snowman head? Or no, it's, it's just like on top. It's okay. encased. It's, okay. Yeah. Oh. That was kind of funnier, but that's okay. <laughs> so I'm just trying to Right. Uh, you can either mark condition or take a negative uh, one. Against take a negative one. Okay. Um, what do you do? So I am going to, since the since the cage, I'm guessing is metal. Um, I'm going to. Uh, it's actually cold iron, but that's still metal. So. Still metal. Cold iron. Um, yeah. I see. What warts off there. demon. Hey. So it. Um, so I like, basically just like pluck the the sides of the cage out and like, and just like hurl it at him. Just, almost like they're like spears. It's not really much manipulation. It's just like literally just like pluck and throw. Okay, uh, roll to engage the threat. Okay. And I'm gonna roll with fight the good fight. Uh, why did you, so it looks like you took a piece of tape and a sharpie and wrote honey on your sheet. Don't worry about it. I'm just <laughs> writing words. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I have so many questions. Don't, I was just, just coming up with words. Don't worry about it. Don't think too hard, Steven. Think, think hard, too Steven. Much. Think very hard, Steven. That's all I do. Ooh, Holy look at that. Nice. So this is critically successful. Yeah. Did you succeed? And then. Do I want to be a monster? And then that's plus save your so that Reroll. Is, no, I'm just kidding. That's a 15. Oh, I'm so tempted to be an asshole right now. Don't do be it. an asshole. <laughs> I can do what you got to do, bro. Mm, I'm saving this for is... someone in particular. Yes. OK, so. Um, I love your face. <laughs> so pick two, but I can't impress, yes. surprise, or frighten. Um, so, so that like really limits your uh, options. What options do you have now? Uh, resist or avoid their blows. Take something from them. Um, create an opportunity for your allies. Okay. Um, so I am going to. Um, I'm going to create an opportunity for my allies, and I am going Sex to um, take you something throw me from something? them. Take some from them. Yes. OK, what do you take? Um, you. Their focus on um, manipulating the children. Oh. It breaks their focus. OK. Mm -hmm. um, so they're finally like centered in like, oh, this is like, I have to like focus all my energy on this. Focus. OK, so you send the iron spears at him, and it pins him to a wall behind him. He still has his okay. broom in hand. Uh, you notice as he hits his head on the wall, and as soon as he does, all the kids kind of like, snap out of it and like, what the hell is this? Mm -hmm. I assume that was a 13 year old. Um, Get out of here, go, go. <laughs> you don't have to tell them twice, but <laughs> they're kind of trapped because there's still a huge storm outside. Ugh. All right, well, I'm going to assume that's because of Krampus. Yeah, safe assumption. Okay. Um, I'm climate gonna, change is a myth. I'm gonna directly engage mm -hmm. the, a threat. Leave reality outside for right now. I can't handle I'm sorry, it anymore. I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, with that, I'm this going. Term reality is unprecedented. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to directly engage the threat. Uh, and why? with that, I'm going to use my delinquent move of Are you watching closely? So when you mislead, distract, or trick someone, roll plus superior. On a hit, they are fooled at least for a moment. On a plus ten, choose three, and then I can get an opportunity, expose a weakness or flaw, confuse them for some time, or avoid further entanglement. There's also a lot of kids watching, so you can do something cool soon. Just yeah. don't expose yourself. All right, so this is all right. This is my cool. I'm gonna do all these. Oh, things I got that. With my cool thing. Oh, okay. All right. I look fucking cool. So what? The, what does the cool thing do? Basically, uh, you get a plus. You get to describe whatever it is you do cool, however you want. Uh -huh. you can be as elaborate as you want. Okay, great, great, great. Um, and you get a plus one on your next engaged enemy. Engage attack roll. Great. So this is all working out for me. Yes. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. With my powers of illusion. I look fucking cool. In combination with my psychic weapons, I'm going to create like maybe eight to ten copies of myself that with like 
the psychic weapons, they kind of hold weight to them, so like they can also attack and physically like hurt or anything. Okay. And uh, they're gonna fill up, like they're gonna surround Krampus wherever he is. Pin to a wall. Pin to a wall. So we're gonna, they all they all do like a <laughs> where they like split out from yeah, each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we're especially going to be annoying about it, so we're going to ask all these annoying questions to him, like, one at a time in different directions. We keep popping up. He doesn't know where we are. And we're running all over the place. We're also bothering the hag, too. <clears throat> and uh, The hag, who I didn't even stat out, who's under a pile of rubble? Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> and... Yeah, so the and he doesn't know which one is the real me because the real me is the one that will carry the full attack. Though. Yes, but That's who's the, the evil me. one? No, none of us are evil. <laughs> well, I mean, we're all the one with the goatee. equally as evil and as not evil as I am. And that is the meaning of Christmas. <laughs> so great. Everyone is equally so as this evil is... and not evil. <laughs> so and basically, we're just asking: Can you tell which one is the real us? Can you? Can you? Can you? And. Uh, being uh, peak annoying chaos a lot that he is. Um, may I? Yeah. Okay. Um, since you've got him kind of on the ropes, at least for the moment, I'm going to be like, kids, come on, let's get you to safety. And she gets to the edge of the park. She sees that the storm is kind of uh, in full It's kind of like a hurricane here in the eye of it. So what she's going to yeah, do is I'm actually going to uh, activate mm -hmm. uh, Moat, which is one of the flares I got okay. for free. Um, so I'm basically creating this big tunnel of energy through the storm as far as I can and trying to kind of get them to keep going. All right. Um, and with that, gearing up for a big punch, the Krampus in his big dumb face. Okay. Doing that. So I roll superior instead of danger. All right. So that's plus two. Huh. And I have a reroll, so in case this goes badly. Oh, we roll it anyway. Come on, you can do better. <laughs> Great, Ready? so that's 6, 10, plus 2, 12. I really knock this guy out. <laughs> does that stop the storm? Um, <laughs> it does not. <laughs> oh, at 13 with uh, the... With the uh, I look fucking cool. Yeah, so I didn't even need that. The unofficial official name. <laughs> All right, well, you definitely have uh, pissed him the fuck off. Great. Um, he is furious as your angry. Your fist meets his jaw, and you hear a crunch. Ooh. Uh. Oh. Slack jawed. His tongue wraps around your wrist. Uh, I was waiting for Wait, the tongue. I, I succeeded so you did. well on all this. Yeah, I but he's a boss monster. A you yeah. gave him a condition that you oh, freed also, the kids no, no. and you distracted him. But no, I am also um, tricking him. So he doesn't know which one is me. He could have grabbed one of the fake ones of me. I, think I when thought he feels you punched the, him, though. When well, he feels the contact. in my head, we were all, like, going mm, at the same time. Know. So he doesn't know mm, which one's game master. me. You gotta you got think about this like a comic book, though. Like, when you have a great success, there needs to be... The way I viewed it was, there was like ten of you all being super annoying and distracting him. Yeah. And when you punch, they all, like, fuse into one and it looks like a cool explosion thing. I imagine them all still around, because... Like, the purpose of the Are You Watching Closely is to trick him. Okay, well. It, yeah, I have to mislead, distract, or trick someone, and I was hoping to trick him. You have successfully tricked him uh, as Slackjaw, his tongue kind of, first it tries to stab one of you. Okay. And it does, and you get, the, oh, if that was actually me, I'd be very dead. Okay. It starts attacking uh, your, uh, how many were there, ten illusions? Yeah. It's going after them with his tongue. Um... There's a look in his eye. Uh, oh, it's literally on fire. His eyes are literally on fire. Great. I, literally. Good. Literally on fire. Which is just a lovely little throwback to Dark Sun. Mm -hmm. um, the Christmas music sounds distorted and warped. And the snow, your moat's still working. You're able to get these, you're able to herd these kids out, which mm -hmm. is good because uh, literal spires of like dark matter and chimney soot and. Uh, Basically, uh, steampunk hell is rising out of the earth right now. That's the best kind of hell. Oh, and also, um, I get to choose three of these. Okay, things. what do you pick? Uh, I want to expose a weakness or flaw. Okay. And then I want to um, confuse them for some time. And since you don't want me to avoid further entanglement, I'll leave that one out and choose get an opportunity. Okay. Well, you've learned that uh, you can only keep one illusion going at a time. No, his. Yeah, his illusion. 
What's his illusion? Well, he had this whole fairy tale, uh, gingerbread man, Christmas uh, thing. That's falling apart really fucking okay, fast. Okay, cool. And it's being replaced with something else. So you can keep one illusion up at a time. So he's kind of got, he has the power of 70 years. He's definitely distracted. And what was the third option? Get an opportunity. Yeah, he's still kind of busy trying to uh, stab or kill my you, My, the clothes. other versions of me. Yeah. So what are you three doing? Well, I mean, are the kids pretty much... Oh, yeah, no. You're going to be able to get all of them out. Okay, cool. Pretty easily. Uh, so I, I kind of see the tail end of that. I'll let you just leave the moat up and while you do something else. Okay, cool. Um, and I'm actually going to kind of just take to the sky for a second and try and come down in front of them, and I'm going to use worship. Worship? By unleashing my powers and basically being like, this is not fucking cool, Krampus! Krampus, 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 Krampus. So, so what does worship do? Do you read that? Um, sorry. You put on a tremendous display of your might. Spend one burn to awe an audience into silence, respect, and attention when you unleash your powers. So basically, yeah. I kind of just want to sh shut him up for a second. And Go ahead and remove that condition. Okay. Because that's fucking cool. <laughs> and so that's unleash your powers, so that's freak, obviously. It's only a five. That's no good. No. Never mind. Um, so as she's landing, and, no, no, no. As she's landing and she starts to go all Galadriel, she trips. <laughs> hey, <cr> <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> it was worth a try. And then swole. Okay, um, is, is there any truth to the? Oh, sorry. Sorry. As you trip because you failed, I gotta do something. Is he still uh, distracted? Mark it, mark it. Oh, he's oh, distracted, right. but he's no longer trying to stab your clones. He's not interested in that anymore. He has uh, Kit Stardust by the ankle, by via tongue, and holding you upside down. Uh, oh, help it. Uh, guys? What do you do? Okay, so I want to, um, is there any actual physicality to the gingerbread house, or is it all illusion? You get the feeling it's, you can feel it, touch it, taste it, but it's not real. So here's my question. If I were to yank a hunk out of the wall and smack Krampus yeah, with it, I mean, um, Krampus. Uh, Krampus with it. Would Krampus it, is a holiday I choose to celebrate. Rules, yes. Would I be able to okay, actually rules. damage him? Yes. Okay. In that case, I, I, I want to, um, I, I, I want to just be like, put down our leader and like grab a, a huge hunk out of the wall and just like, Try and home run uh, uh, Krampus. All right, uh, that. Do you, are for you trying for to the purpose of trying to, like. Okay, get I'm gonna make that defend. Um, roll. Kid start us out of danger. Okay. Oh, That's and uh, can I? I want to be a troublemaker. You just helping. had a huge action, so we'll come back to you after uh, Jack goes. Well, this yeah. would have been helping him. <laughs> well, let him roll first, and then I'll let you see if you can spend team on this. Yeah. It wouldn't no. have been. So that's a four. Um, but I'm going to re-roll that. All right. Okay. If I do the thing that I wanted to do successfully. Ah, never mind. All right. We should never mind. <clears throat> I was also a four. That's what the, the fuck? same roll you just had. Honestly, um, dude. <clears throat> yeah, that was the exact same roll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that didn't work. <laughs> and what is it? It's plus savior, and my savior is zero, so... <laughs> Mark potential. Huh? I'm so glad I don't just be my reroll. Um, great. Merry Christmas. To yeah. Me. So I'll actually take I'll take my turn to defend Kid Stardust too by just like. Well, because you failed your oh, defend yeah, roll. Yeah, you gotta. Um. You lose control of your footing, and you are basically looking down into hell. <laughs> uh, your hair is turning white, and you are seeing infinity, and it stares back into you. So you now have, and I have like two crazy people. big old bug eyes. Market condition, and you can't close them. Okay, and not potential. Market condition, and you get to choose. Yeah. What do so you do? I'm so he's just like coming at you. No, I'm. He's got me by the tongue, he's dangling still, over the hell oh, pit. Jesus. Okay, he basically like pinned to the wall by your spears. Still has his broom though. Yeah. Uh, he has his tongue out, and he's using it to dangle Kid Stardust over a hell pit, which he is staring into and currently screaming. Okay. I'm marked afraid because uh, that makes wait, sense. can I yell saying like it's just an illusion? Because it is. Well, let Jack I do his thing real quick, then you can. Yeah. <laughs> you can fly, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'm just going to try and cut his tongue off. Really? Um, yeah, why not? Okay. Let's give it a shot. Uh, uh, roll to engage the threat. Yeah. 
So directly engage a threat. Why not? I'm mm. also gonna do fight the good fight. As opposed to passively aggressively engage a threat, I guess. Hey, look um, at that plus danger. And then plus my savior because I'm doing fight the good fight. So that is eleven. All right. Damn, so son. you get to choose two from the list. Uh, your list is shorter because you are using a move though. Yeah. Um, so I am going to create an opportunity for my allies again, and then uh, I'm going to resist or avoid their blows. Okay. Um, so you mm -hmm. cut off his fucking tongue. Well, delicious. You do cut off his tongue. Yes. All right. He marks a condition for that one because holy shit, you cut off the cut off his tongue. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Please never make that was just like cool. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Ah, it's gross. Cole is just like, ah! You're a terrible person. I know. I checked. <laughs> he got it checked It's a BuzzFeed quiz. If I'm a terrible person, if yeah. Jordan is a terrible person. Specifically Jordan. It's Jordan. We weren't even testing for that, but that's what it says. <laughs> terrible person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Portal 2, timely. Um, <laughs> all right, so you chose to make an opportunity, and uh, what was the other one? Uh, avoid blows. Avoid blows. So, uh, flaming snowballs. Yeah, it's it doesn't make any goddamn sense anymore. Mm -hmm. It's just vaguely Christmas themed magic. Um, come flying towards you, but you dodged him pretty easily, and That's he managed right. to take the thing, stab into his tongue. Yeah. Uh, you are now free. Okay. You're dangling over hell, but you can fly, so it's not that bad. I'm sure. So and I really yeah. wasn't thinking like a stabbing thing. It was more of like a slicing thing. Either way, the dude's tongueless. Okay, I just want to oh, be well. specific. What I pictured is perhaps you did kind of stick it in the middle and he reflexively pulled it back and it just ripped apart. So give him a fork tongue? No. I don't know. No, uh, I wanna, that's not a thing we want. I want to get swole away from the hellhole. Well, Nicole's been dying to do something. Well, right. the end, but after well, Nicole does what she's going to do. I mean, okay. after I learned, I exposed a weakness or flaw and then that's, that's most of this stuff is an illusion. So the hellhole that you're looking at, while it is horrific and horrifying, isn't real. All right. Uh, that sounds like a comfort support role. Okay. That'd be good because I have afraid because I'm hovering over a hole of death. All right. Hell comfort death. or Hell support. Oh, I have to roll mundane. Uh, <laughs> if mundane. there's a destruct, no, I can't do that. Hmm? All right. Rolling mundane. Get those out of here. Yeah. yeah. Your mundane's at a zero, right? Yes. Yeah, so All right. Not so not adding anything more. Um, on a plus ten, you can also add a team to the pool or clear. Con I don't have any conditions to clear, so, so add, add a team. team. All right, you guys are up to two team. Cool. So you yeah. can, can clear a condition, right? Yes. So basically, you just yell that it's an illusion. It's an illusion, I know. It's an illusion, oh, Michael. Oh, let's close my eyes. So I close my eyes and stop being afraid. Can you close your eyes? I thought you had like the glass cylinder. You're right, I can't. That's so a very just, good point. You literally just turn away and look at something else. <laughs> so I just look in another direction. He <laughs> thrusts his fists against the post and, and still, still insists he, he sees, sees the, the ghost. ghost. <laughs> I cannot wait for that movie. I know, right? What movie? It. it. Oh. So one of the main characters has a, had a stutter as a kid, and that was the mnemonic that he used to help uh, him kind of get over. I did my thing, I'm gonna roll back. No, Go you have to stay. No, I've Let got the leg. I'm stuck. I'm playing footsie. Ow. I'll be right back. We've all been there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stuck playing footsie with Jack. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Must be Saturday. Mm -hmm. All right. While she's away, actually, I would like to say that my first introduction to the Krampus mythology was the Venture Brothers Christmas special from oh, the first season. Oh, hell yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, I love Venture Brothers. Yeah. I think I just learned about Krampus like two years ago or well, something. Well, I mean, Sax, a couple years ago, you were like kind of like spec writing a script or something because it was like a huge Krampus explosion, right? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like... I'm over the Krampus. I kind of am, too. I feel like what I knew about Krampus the first time was from the leak. Okay. Steve, that show? Steve, you wrote this. I know yeah. I did, but no one's used it in a long time, <laughs> so. Um, all right. Um, it, oh, sorry. I, I'm not entirely sure he meant to do that one. He might, let me double check with him. He might have wanted to fan club love them. Um, what is okay, that? Okay, because fan club love, I remember what that one does. I don't. What is. Will he give him a fan club love? This is an 
the heart. Good I was job, everybody. So excited they Good did job. that on Glee. Let me confirm. Uh, the 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 other one is team, and that's team. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Okay. So after you get confirmation, I'll yeah. go ahead and activate one of those. But, uh, yeah. Hold on a second. Um, uh, let me, oh. What is that? Is that like a night on Bald Mountain? Yeah. Mug? yeah. Amazing. I believe that, uh, what was that the trophy for? Um, I assume for an dungeon fight. Yeah. So the, the, the thing that I hate about the Krampus is that it's like this ancient thing that we just we all discovered simultaneously like four years ago. Yeah. And then all of a sudden Krampus is in everything. Yeah. And, I just, <laughs> and there was so much like seeking of Krampus material that as a writer I was just I like gave up. I was just like fuck fuck this thing. It, it went from zero to overexposed in one. It's like Christmas zombie. Season. Uh, he didn't to to clarify he didn't give up on being a writer. He gave up on writing about Krampus. Exactly. Yeah, I, I gave up on taking Krampus related jobs. Because there was just so many of them. Just just all well, of them. The Krampus movie that we're seeing now is a reflection of... Uh, um, uh, yes, use your words. It's a reflection of like 80 scripts that were submitted at some point. Because you know oh, I mean? yeah. so, like, mm. they were like, it's, it's prime, prime time for a Krampus-related yeah. movie. Uh, I am... Why does that happen? We get something new in horror, and suddenly it's the most overexposed thing ever. Zeitgeist. Because if it was successful one time, then obviously it's going to be successful again. Is that why I had and 600 it, what, crappy Japanese remakes in the early 2000s? Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. The zombie proliferation, you know. Um, I haven't seen a lot of werewolf stuff in a while. Vampires. Vampires, Vampires were big. Yeah. Yeah. Vampires were big. But you're right. I did not get a lot of werewolf stuff. Yeah. Sorry, Mac. <laughs> I like werewolves. Where's the best? Yeah. Okay. Um, anyway. While we're waiting for that to cl get cleared up. So. Um, we're waiting for Nicole to finish painting. Uh, yeah. So, um, sorry. Wait. Anybody read any good comics recently? Um, so reading Champions. And I highly recommend that one because it is so good. Mm. Chu apparently ended its run. I am mm -hmm. not caught up. But I'm really excited to read it because I love that series. I never read Chu. I was told it was good. She Actually, was super I've good. been reading Matt Fraction and I think it's Ed Brubaker working together on the Invincible Iron Fist oh, run. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. It's like kind of old now, but like yeah. mm -hmm. I wanted to get it on Iron Fist before the Netflix series comes out. Well, yeah. I want to catch up on um, Sex Criminals, too. Yeah. I That's good. I want to read that. Keep right. a face. Oh, Chip Zdarsky. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so, that's three of the resources we think of as... Okay, so thank you. Too, right? Now that that's cleared up, we can get back to yes. the game. Chip thank you, Kaganis, for buying three safety pinned, which means I add three team to the pool. What? Yes. We're going to rock oh this town. Oh, my God. Rock it inside <laughs> out. <laughs> We're going to rock this town, rock <laughs> it inside <laughs> out. <laughs> going to rock this town, make it scream and shout. One of the games that we played on the uh, Extra Life stream, we established that Brian Setzer was actually a superhero in that universe, nice. as well as a musician. <laughs> that explains a lot. Yeah. I actually know Welcome two back. of the people that were in the Jump Jive Not yet. Not movies. a lot, because we got very distracted. Cool. They're like professional swing dancers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super All right. cool. Um, as you cut off his tongue and you reveal it's all fake. Yeah. Uh, the earth beneath you begins to shake, and you feel like you're going lower. Earthquakes aren't native oh, to yeah. this region. No, they are not. Mm -mm. Not on the eastern seaboard. Oh, there must be some fracking happening. <laughs> you beat me to it by like a second. <laughs> <laughs> with a mouthful of blood and missing a tongue, he manages like, I will drag you all down to hell with me. That's pretty metal. Nice right. holiday jacket, Nicole. Thanks. It's not a holiday jacket. It's a jacket I happen to have. But, but it goes very it But when you wear it on a red shirt, it's a holiday mm. jacket. There you go. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Like, this is just a red shirt, but now it's a holiday I'm Christmas. also cold. <laughs> really? Maybe it's because I'm in the Lama Hanukkah sweater, but I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> um, We're all dying, Stephen. So Why you got to bring that up? Yeah. Are there any kids? No, uh, thanks to Kid Stardust making that uh, moat early on, uh, the children have gotten out. So he decided, fuck it, I'll take you, I'll take you four. Can, um, can there be somewhere someone singing, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire <laughs> inside is uh, you do, Okay, because I did say earlier that the music has gotten warbled and weird and gross, uh, you hear that, but it kind of sounds like it's played at uh, 
a quarter speed, so it's really low. And it makes when, me think of the senior dish day video you and Kirk made. Yeah, 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 yeah. And eventually it gets to the fire is so delightful. Ben said the fire is so delightful. It just says the fire, the fire, the fire. It's just really kind of creepy. Cool, cool, cool. Good. I'm in the right place to play now. <laughs> oh, I should put my mic on. But yes, it would be nice if the audience <laughs> could hear you. <laughs> I should put my mic on. Oh, boy. Can I spray a red pen?